following contest is a last man standing match. If one of the competitors is unable to answer a referee's 10 count, he will be deemed unfit to continue, and the last man standing will be the winner. I've known Hunter Drake for 14 years. Just about my whole life. We played basketball together, baseball, you name it. Hunter Drake even had a room at my house. My parents looked at him as a second child. My dad looked at him as a second son. His dad was our coach. Uh, me and Tyler have been best friends our whole life. Um, I had a room at his house. I was his parents' second kid, basically. I mean, I've it's been me and Tyler till the end. We started training together. Everyone has seen our journey together from where we started to now. And yeah, Tyler's been my best friend my whole life. Oh, no! No! Making the save for his tag partner. I think Tyler made the decision he made a, a little bit out of jealousy, maybe? My motivation had nothing to do with my friendship and my past with Hunter Drake. It had everything to do with my future. I was the backbone of the Talladega Knights, and I think Tyler kind of knew that. See, I want to become the best wrestler in the world. And I can't do that when I have someone holding me back. Tyler took the easy way out. And just because I didn't, that kind of left me laying in the dirt. Hunter, like I said before, this is nothing personal. You know, I don't hate you. I don't even dislike you. I don't have a problem with you. He wants to be the greatest wrestler in the world. Tyler, that's the difference. You want to be the greatest wrestler in the world. But I'm gonna be the greatest wrestler in the world. I never wanted to hurt anyone's feelings, but I had to do what I had to do. It's all business now. On February 5th, you won't be in professional wrestling anymore. And I'll be surprised if you'll even be walking anymore. February 5th, it's me and you in a last man standing match. And I never wanted to hurt you. I, I wanted us to go our separate ways, but you wouldn't leave me alone. You kept pushing my buttons. I realized that you don't you don't benefit me anymore. not coming out to this last man standing match alone, being accompanied by the leader of the Cortez, former New South heavyweight champion, Derek Neal. Derek Neal seemed to have been keeping his distance early on in Tyler Frank's joining of the Cortez, but now more and more he seems to be taking more of a a front seat into managing Tyler's career as he continues to grow. And definitely more of a hands-on approach from the Kings Road Slayer. Now he's gonna have a nice up-close view of this last man standing match, folks. I've got a feeling this one's about to get wild.
and you can feel the tension in the building rising. in the air right now is palpable. The people are on their feet, clapping along. They want to see this man take out his former best friend, Hunter Drake. Hunter Drake certainly looks ready to go. Connor Drake fired up, has the people of Hartsville, Alabama in his corner. As if he needed more motivation, Hunter Drake is going to feed off the energy of this crowd. Oh yeah, Hunter Drake certainly already known for his high octane, high energy style, but tonight, He's got even more. Derek Neal imparting some words of wisdom to Tyler Franks. Derek with some final words here to the golden protege. The King's Road Slayer himself, no stranger to a last man standing match. A match 14 years in the making. You saw the video package. These two grew up together and now are about to tear each other apart. And hold uh -oh. on to Derek Neal! Derek Neal! Derek, Derek Neal taking exception. Folks, this match may be over before it even gets underway. The count has started. Tyler, Tyler Frank's calling for the bell to ring and for Derek Neal just, ref. Ha just handed the victory. It looks that way, Carmen. Senior Rev Gary Kent has got to start his count because Hunter Drake is down. Some underhanded tactics before the bell. Already up to a count of four, Hunter. Hunter's already rocked. Hunter. Hunter Back on his feet. Oh, oh, Hunter able to pull himself to his feet. And we're going to do things the right way now. Oh, Step have, up insecure. Hunter might have been playing a little possum there. Trying to catch Tyler Franks off guard. Again, the energy in this room is electric. Big right hand there from Hunter Drake, but walks right into that shot from Tyler Franks. Oh, the, ener the energy of the fans and the weight of the relationship, of the drama being, coming into this match. It's all been leading up to this, Carmen. One way or another, something's got to give. Former tag team champions, former best friends, some would even say brothers, and now looking to put an end to one another. Oh. Tyler Frank, Tyler Frank's certainly been making his feelings known leading up to this. He, he claims that it's not personal, that he harbors no grudge, no ill will towards Hunter Drake. But Hunter Drake certainly doesn't seem to feel the same way. He's taken it plenty personally. Well, there's no way it can't be personal. Whether or not Tyler Frank says it's all business, now lining up for that chair shot. This is, of course, what ended their friendship. Oh, chair shot. It, it certainly... Even though he says he's all he's all business, Tyler Franks now. It certainly he certainly seems to have made it personal, Wait, attacking on. his own hold father. And, oh, oh a suicide dive with a chair. Hunter Drake came here to prove a point and send a message. And things are heating up here. Franks has certainly made, as you said, Carmen, Franks has made things personal. Oh, hold on. The straight of time. Oh. oh, my God. <laughs> Lord. Tyler Franks dropping Hunter Drake right onto that wooden partition. 
And you saw there how that ramp just bent under the weight of Hunter Drake. A lot of, despite, despite the words oh, of the God, cortege, despite the words of the cortege, a lot of emotion coming into this match. A lot of powerful feelings and harsh words been said. Some anger and frustration driving this match. And now a steel cooking pan for answering that cookie sheet. Oh! Aiming for the head of Hunter Drake. Hunter, though, rolls through. Oh! Lord of mercy! Oh! Sounded like a gunshot going off here in Hartsville, Alabama. Springboard! Oh! oh! Tyler Franks throwing Locked that, in steel, that steel pan at Hunter's head. What a match it's been so far. And Grease Monkey, we are in the middle of hot season and looking ahead, these two have a very distinct possibility of meeting each other in the Haas tournament, of course on opposite sides. But could you imagine the finals of our Haas tournament this year ends up being these two in the ring once again? That's gotta be it, Carmen. That's gotta be what's been, well, what's been affecting the competitors at New South during this show, it's got to be that 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 palpable sense that Haas is in the air, that Haas is coming. Look at this delayed suplex here from Tyler Frank showing off that strength. And you got to think, if the fact that it's Haas season is that powerful to have an effect on competitors like Adam Priest and Donnie Janela, what, what kind of influence is it bringing to a match like this? Char already charged up with so much emotion, so much history. Well, especially when you have Derek Neal in your ear. Oh, but the, wor the words of the King's Road Slayer have certainly lit a fire in Tyler Franks. Tyler Franks seemingly willing to go to some places that we never oh. would have expected from him, Carmen. Oh, Hold on. Is, is them what Grease Monkey thinks they are, Carmen? Them look like kebab skewers. Tyler Franks breaking out the skew skewers. Oh, 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 come on now. Just littering the ring here. Grease, Grease Monkey could have used With some of them. Evil this intent here. Oh, no. His former best friend. Oh, 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 oh driving them. Oh, driving them skewers. What a Inside sight. Drake's head. Flying everywhere. Folks, at this rate, I don't know if either of these men may even make it to Haas. We may get a bye for both Steven Michaels and Alec Price in the first round. Last man standing indeed, Carmen. There ain't gonna be many things or people left standing after these two are done. As I say, I'm scared that neither man will even be able to walk out of the building after this one. Lord, Carmen, the building might oh. not be standing oh, after this look. is done. And Hunter Drake, Hunter Drake is busting up. wide open. Hunter Drake is sanguine right now, Carmen. And their friend Garrett oh. stuck in the middle here. Tyler Franks putting his hands on referee Gary Kent. All three of these men came up together in the business. Garrett. Oh. Garrett! Oh! Senior official Garrett Kent not taking lightly the disrespect from his friend. Oh. All of our all of our refs are tough here at New South Carmen, but you definitely don't mess with senior official Garrett Kent. Oh, and a low blow. Tyler Franks going low. Unfortunately, he can get away with it, Carmen. Anything goes, of course, in a last man standing match. 
Franks once again going under the ring looking for well, anything he can use. Is that, a, up. is that a bag of marbles, Carmen? He's my guy. I don't think they're playing marbles here. We well, certainly ain't playing patty cake. I think there's something a little more sinister in that bag. Uh oh. What on? What? Tyler Frank, hold up. Oh! Oh! oh. That is not a spot where you want to end up. Yeah, definitely not. We've seen tax in New South before, and they always leave a mark. Tyler Frank's dragging Hunter Drake's face across that ring rope, oh. trying to open up that wound a little more. Tyler Franks now has Hunter position on that top rope. Oh no. Has his this, eyes set on a, on a superplex into the tax. Hunter Drake fighting out though. Man finally woken up. Hunter Drake firing away and now flips over going for that sunset flip power. Some ball. intention oh. of his own, Carmen. Oh! oh my God! Is there any length these two will not go to? It's a last man standing match, Carmen. They've got to push themselves and each other beyond the breaking point. Thumbtacks. Stuck in both men, but look at the lower back of Tyler Franks. Somebody call the tire shop, because Tyler Franks has had a puncture. Tyler Franks oh. slammed directly down on those thumbtacks. Tyler desperately trying to pick them out, but there's just way too many. Oh! oh. What a pump kick there. He got some air on that one, Carmen. And Hunter Drake staying right on top of him. Now making their way through the crowd. Over by the bleachers. Hunter Drake. Uh oh. Oh! Drops Tyler Franks right to the side of the bleachers there. Those steel oh. barriers on those bleachers. And folks, we don't have the the best positioning here up here from the stage, but we're doing our best to watch along. It looks like, oh, Hunter Drake. Hunter Drake has found a door. Hunter breaks out a door. Now has it positioned against, against oh. the bleachers here. This definitely can't lead to nothing good. That, the fans, found another one. The fans making their way out. Where in the Sam Hill is he finding all these doors? Do not want to be positioned anywhere near these men. Uh -oh. And now Hunter grabbing two chairs. I think I know where this is going. Uh-oh. Looking like a diabolical construction might be occurring over there, Carmen. Asking the, yeah. asking the crowd for two more chairs, and they're happy to Re oblige here. Referee Gary Kent is, is trying to direct traffic and do his job here, but the utter confusion, he can't hardly even make a count. And Hunter Drake now setting up a con contraption here. And the crowd now forming oh. around as these former tag team partners. Oh, this, oh, this can't, oh hold up. This can't be happening, oh. Carmen. Hunter going for a power bomb off the bleachers. Whoa. Now flips over. Precarious position here for both men. Big right hand from Tyler Franks. Hunter charges it in. Oh, oh my God! Hunter Drake doors. Hunter Drake sent over the bleachers. Grease Monkey heard the sound of a human body being broken, Carmen. The New South faithful chanting one more time. They're bloodthirsty tonight. The, the, I'm telling, Grease Monkey's I, telling you, Carmen. I, I can't get over what we just saw. 
Gr Grease Monkey's telling you, Carmen. It, it must be hoss season. This bloodlust, this viciousness has bled in. And our fans have their flashlights out on their cell phone to get a better view of this. They, they've certainly got the best seat in the house at the moment, Carmen. It's absolute utter chaos outside the ring here. Tyler Franks is on his feet. Well, we knew this match was gonna be big, Carmen. We knew it was gonna get pretty crazy. Trading blows. It's a hockey fight now as they make their way through the Spartan Civic Center. Oh. Hunter Drake just thrown right into the wall. Right into that concrete wall, Carmen. This just might be the most insane main event I have ever seen here in New South Wrestling. If Hunter Drake's body was not broken before, it has to be now after it's bouncing off oh. that concrete wall. This is as personal as it gets, folks. Oh, Tyler Franks now. It, it's de it definitely ain't about business no more. Going back under the ring. Oh. I, where's all these doors coming from? We've got more doors than Monsters, Inc. here. Lord of mercy. And now Tyler Franks looking to set up a contraption of his own. Oh. Some, somebody call kids in the hall because we're making Doors fans here tonight. Well, folks, this is why you buy a floor seat for New South Wrestling. That's why you need to get your tickets early because... Uh, Reese Monkey's <laughs> thinking that buying floor seats for New South Wrestling <laughs> might not be such a great idea no more, well, You never know when your seat may be able to participate in a match. Oh, oh. what a super kick there. Tyler Franks has Hunter Drake firmly wait, under wait, control hold, here. Hold up. Oh, what's... What's going on here? If he brings out another god dang door. He brought out another door, Carmen. Whose house? Whose house was raided for all these doors? Oh, time. I'm nervous here. Lord of mercy. Tyler Franks making sure his diabolical machine oh. here is. And Hunter Drake sent up here by us ready to go. on the stage. What? No. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. He can't, he can't no. be thinking what Grease Monkey thinks that he's thinking. He's got that massive ladder. Oh, taking out Hunter Drake with it. No. And Tyler Frank no. setting up that ladder now. We see the table stacked yeah. on the outside. Oh, this can't be happening, Carmen. You hate to see what has become of two former best friends. They've been through it all 14 years of friendship. To be, Three tag team to championships be in to this. To no. Be, to be driven to this, Carmen. And Tyler Franks climbing to. How high is he going to go? This may be the most insane thing I have ever witnessed. Hunter Drake, Hunter Drake is fighting out. Hunter Drake managing to find his footing on the top of that ladder. Hunter fighting out. Oh. And Tyler. Tyler Franks goes crashing back down to the stage. Drops to the floor here on the stage. Grease Monkey has no idea how referee Gary Kent is managing to stay focused and do his job with all this chaos. And a hush falls over the crowd that have gathered around here over by the stage. Some savage shots being traded here. Hunter Drake pummeling Tyler Franks. Just firing away, letting off all of that frustration and aggression. All that pain and anger from the constant attacks by Tyler Franks. From the backstabbing of his former best friend. Oh, and no. now. Oh. oh. A 
that spinning back elbow just took out every bit of Hunter Drake. Oh, precarious position for Hunter Drake. Hunter South just audience. barely holding on. The New South audience, bated breath at the moment, wondering what is going to happen, what kind of insanity is going to unfold here. And it all, here it all comes back to that chair shot. Going to do it again. Oh, nope. Hunter. Oh, spinning back it. And now, Hunter, Hunter Drake looking for a little turnabout of fair play. And it was a chair shot that ended the friendship between these two. Oh. And Hunter Drake with some payback. And it's a chair shot that may bookend it. Uh-oh. Hunter Drake setting up Tyler Franks on the door. Oh, no. Well, Hunter willing to risk it all to put away his former tag partner. Grease Monkey can't even act like he's surprised at this. Tyler Hunter Drake. Knights are no more. The cell phones are out. Oh, oh my God! Hunter Drake went darn near 20 Holy feet shit. in the air. Holy shit. But Holy at what shit. cost, Holy Grease shit. Monkey? Gre Hunter Drake willing to put everything on the line to pay Tyler Franks back for what he has done. How in the world are these two breathing, let alone moving right now? Hunter Drake seems to be the only one with a little bit of life left in him. Tyler Franks is completely destroyed. Carmen. Already up to a six count. Seven, eight. We could be closing in on the final moment. This could be it. Hunter Drake picks up a huge win. Hunter Drake. What have we just witnessed in Hartsville, Alabama? Hunter Drake complete risks his body, his well-being does something completely insane and manages to put Tyler Franks down for the count. Put it all on the line to put away his former best friend. But don't you worry, Tyler Franks. It was all just business. Just business. And what a way. What a way for that rivalry to come to a head, Carmen. And, and who knows if they're even finished. But Grease Monkey would be surprised if if there's anything left between Hunter Drake and Tyler Franks now. Something tells me that this story may continue. But either way, what an incredible main event here on Action Clash. right here in Hartsville, Alabama, 16 competitors, and we could end up with both these men facing off one more time. You ain't gonna wanna miss a second leading up to Haas, people. And folks, we wanna thank you for tuning in, and we will see you same time next week, every Tuesday, here on IWTV.